The 2021 NFL season has been full of some crazy upsets. We've seen the Jacksonville Jaguars defeat the Buffalo Bills when everyone was calling them Super Bowl favorites. We've seen the Miami Dolphins defeat the Baltimore Ravens on a Thursday night football game when everyone was talking about how good the Ravens were and the Dolphins just flat out played them. Why is this happening and why is this something that is great for football and something that fans love to see? Everybody loves upsets. We all root for it watching college football games and even games in the NFL, even though it's not as big of a deal. But in college, teams really have to win every game and can't make a mistake or the season will be over. It's so fun to sit there and root for the underdog. In the NFL, upsets have been happening a lot this year. I've mentioned some, but as we know, there's no team with less than two losses. This is something that really doesn't happen often in the NFL. There's always a team that kind of sticks away and just elevates themselves as one of the better teams. We see it year to year. A lot of people predicted Kansas City or Tampa to be that team, the two Super Bowl teams from last year, but that really just hasn't happened. They've all dropped games. They've all lost games we shouldn't have expected them to. We saw Kansas City lose a couple games at the start of the season. We watched Tampa lose to Washington just a couple weeks ago. It's something that happens, and it's great to see for football. So why have these upsets happened? In my opinion, these upsets have happened so far this season because these elite teams that we're used to seeing haven't been elite on both sides of the ball. So we saw at the beginning of the year, Kansas City's offense struggled, and when their offense finally started to get it together, their defense was the issue. We saw this first couple weeks, but now we're starting to see that Kansas City's offense and defense has been clicking, and they're winning some games just coming off an impressive win against Dallas, and a lot of people just think they're going to keep rolling and head back to where they were last year. We think they've figured it out. As we saw Buffalo in the game against Jacksonville, their offense didn't have a gun, but their defense did, but they still weren't able to win the game. Jacksonville played great defense all game long, and Buffalo just wasn't able to match the field goals that Jacksonville kept kicking to make it a good game. In the Tampa vs. Washington game, Washington's defense stepped up, and Tampa's offense was nowhere there. Tom Brady threw two picks in the first quarter, something he hasn't done in such a long time, and Washington was able to pull away and get a victory. In the Dolphins-Ravens game on Thursday Night Football, the Dolphins just completely took the Ravens' offense out of the game with their zero blitzes. Lamar Jackson had no idea how to handle it, and the Ravens ended up losing. The Dolphins' defense turned a fumble into a touchdown, and the Ravens' offense couldn't come back and score. In the Rams' upset loss against the 49ers, the 49ers' defense was able to make plays early and take the tone for the game. Teams, when they're able to make plays early in the game, they can change the game, they can make it be played how they want it to be played. For example, in games like the Dolphins versus the Ravens, the Dolphins aren't going to want to give Lamar Jackson the ball. So when they get the ball, they try to run clock, have long drives to keep him off the field. It's the best thing they can do for the defense because if you're a defense and you're playing Lamar Jackson, you're going to get tired out. If you watched the Alabama-Auburn game last night, you would see that all game long, Auburn disrupted Alabama and didn't let them get in any sort of rhythm. While Alabama was just trying to gain some momentum. Auburn had long drives that didn't really result in points, but these long drives helped the defense get ready, come up with strategies, come up with the plays to keep sure, keep and make sure Alabama did not score. Although, Alabama is such a good team, they're able to find ways to win. This is what good teams do. Good teams will struggle in games and they'll find ways to win. This is a lot more important in college because one loss can really change your whole season. But in the NFL, we're starting to see it. Good teams will find ways to win. For example, look at the Tennessee Titans beating the Rams and beating the Bills. Even against the Rams without Derrick Henry, they're able to win because they're a good team, they're well coached, and they do all the things right. They do things right that people don't want to do. They, do. they have good special teams, they have a good defense, they just do the things that you need to do to win games, but aren't flashy and won't show up in highlights and don't even show up in box scores. This is something that the Miami Dolphins did last year. Last year the Dolphins were really good at defense and really good at special teams, and their offense kind of just did good enough for them to win games. They did all the things that don't show up, and they're able to get to 10 wins and almost make a playoff berth. It's what they're not doing this year that's resulted in them being 4-7. and seven. Their punting isn't as good, they're not winning field position battles, and they're missing field goals. These things people don't look too often, but make a huge difference. The Dolphins have lost two games against two bad teams, the Jaguars and the Falcons, on game-winning field goals. In both of those games, they've had a missed field goal and a blocked field goal. They've missed opportunities punting to get the ball inside the 5-yard line, but instead it's a touchback and the other team gets the ball at the 20. These little things make huge differences in the games. Winning field position battles is a huge point in, in football games. Watching the Clemson-Georgia game at the beginning of the season, all Georgia did was dominate the possession, dominate field position. Clemson was pressured, DJ Uyagale threw a pick, and that was the final score was 10-3. There was one touchdown, and it was a special teams touchdown. Both teams had field goals, but the pick six is what ended up being the, va the major difference. In a lot of games, interception touchdowns and defensive touchdowns make huge differences, but it's a special teams that sets it up. A lot of times you won't run certain plays if you're not struggling 
and your drive starts at your five yard line. The average of starting field position for this game, Georgia dominated, and this would lead them to win. And then the momentum of winning is what is helping them have such a good season so far. Back to NFL football, the upsets we've seen this season have been great. It's going to make for such an interesting playoff run, knowing that any team can be any team on any given Sunday. As we've seen in the past, a lot of times teams just roll through teams. But we're starting to see that all these games are super competitive, and any game's really a good game to watch. Watching the games think this Thanksgiving, the only really bad game was Jack was Buffalo versus the Saints. Both the other two games were very competitive and very good to watch. As we see in the AFC, a lot of these teams are close, and really, besides the bottom feeders, not many teams are out. The wild card, and with the extra week, the season's going to be great, and playoff races going to be really competitive. In the NFC, there's five teams that have separated themselves, but those two wild card spots are really up for grabs, and among those five teams, any of them can separate themselves and beat each other. But even those two teams that sneak in, they'll be dangerous and can possibly have an upset in the first round of the playoffs. Something like that and an upset in the playoffs would be great to see because really we haven't seen too many major upsets in the playoffs. Most of the upsets happen in the regular season, but that's the way football works. Once you get the playoffs, the games are supposed to be more competitive, so there shouldn't be as many upsets. I'm hoping as a fan that, I get, that one of the six or seven scenes that sneak into the playoffs wins a wild card game. Since the only the first seed gets a bye, I'm hoping to see a two or three seed go down early. I think it'd be very interesting. It gives the team that wins someone a team that everybody can root for and not just the fans of that team.